Color can have an amazing effect on the mind and we should never underestimate the power of pink. It's associated with charm, sensitivity, femininity and of course the romantic. Which are some of the reasons why it formed the theme of a glamorous polo event held in the Cape Winelands recently. It was a perfect summer's morning in the Franchuk Valley and across the field at the stables, the grooms were cooling down the ponies before saddling them up. There was a sense of anticipation among the horses, but Michal wasn't altogether sure what to expect. Now I must confess that my knowledge about polo was rather limited, but when the invitation arrived to attend the 7th annual Pink Polo here in Valdivia State in the Western Cape, I immediately started reading up about the sport. What I found most interesting is that modern polo originated in Manipur, India and has become known as the sport of kings. Today's event is in honour of breast cancer awareness and we at Mela are so proud to support this initiative. The clubhouse was full of Western Cape A-listers who were welcomed with pink-themed temptations. Everything is going like clockwork, but it didn't happen overnight. With months of preparations going in today's event, Simonet Event is here to fill in the details. Simonet has become the premier event here in Western Cape. Why do you believe it's resonated so well? Because for a great cause, we are an incredible nation that is all about giving and standing together for a cause. And I think it's the people behind it that's super passionate and a lot of local creative entrepreneurs, so it's a winning recipe. It is polo with a purpose and it's in aid of breast cancer awareness. How have you managed to change perceptions with this event? There's a lot of funds going into really good courses when it comes to breast cancer, but it's more about the vocal platform. We're in a generation that loves social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and uh, we want to change things up for this generation. So we feel this event is working for it. It's eight, seven years old and it's, uh, it's been a great success. There was no question that the event had already set social media networks alight. But it was also an opportunity for Michelle to meet some key personalities. As an Olympic gold medalist, Rake Mietling needs no introduction. But you may not know, he's also a business whiz. Rake, as marketing director of the estate, you are so supportive of Polo with a Purpose. Definitely one of the highlights of the year for us. This event has just grown and grown and we've been very fortunate to also raise a lot of money for breast cancer awareness. How would you best describe a day at the Pink Polo? I think especially for the ladies, it's a day of uh, fun and of a lot of pampering. Today is also about celebrating. How have cancer survivors and fighters responded to this initiative? I think it's also a highlight for them, you know. We really try to celebrate them. You know, my sister has also had cancer for 25 years, so it's something that's very close to my heart as well, and it's uh, extremely tough on everybody. And this is an opportunity to invite those people and to say, come, we want to take care of you today, we want to pamper you, and uh, for a day, just forget about all the hardship and just enjoy it. And that was certainly what the guests were doing by the time the official program began. First of all, I want to say welcome to everyone, particularly our international guests who have come here from the US, from Europe, from Nigeria, and the rest of West Africa. I thank you for being here and I thank you for your support. A day like this is very important for us. We live in this incredible place. We're very fortunate to be living here. But we also want to help people that maybe aren't that fortunate. Before settling down to the fun of the polo, there was some serious business to attend to, like surveying the latest summer styles presented by top local designers. SABC3 program manager Hamilton and Gubo cut a dashing figure. Hamilton, it is so great to have you in Western Cape. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be part of Mela today and I'm loving Western Cape. I have to compliment you on your outfit. It is on point. Please tell me what inspired your look. The theme said be bold and be inspirational. I just thought why not rock this and I just thought let me do this, you know, and I'm loving it. I'm feeling confident and yeah, the crisp, clean lines of your suit and you look down those shoes, Hamilton. I just wanted to make a statement with my shoes and keep it clean from the top. Down there, just pop with color. It is a statement indeed. I'm glad that you approve that it worked. Why not? What do you think of all the fashion on display here today? People are really rocking and they're looking beautiful. Yourself, you're looking dapper. So yeah, I'm looking more forward to seeing more styles, you know, as the day go by. So I'm excited. Today is also a celebration and it is an aid of breast cancer awareness. What is your message? Testing is key. We need to test. We need to keep, make it a routine, make it a habit and 
keep a healthy lifestyle. So hence, I'm wearing pink, full support of that um, behind the initiative. Pinks ranged from loud and proud to a more subtle interpretation. Nikki and Leanne, welcome to Mela. You look absolutely spectacular. Tell me about your look today. Well, mine's a little bit obvious. Pink, pink polo inspired mine. And yeah. You're like, I love white. And um, I mean, this for me was the best thing. I don't have pink clothes, sorry. But uh, white was the best I could do. Michel continued his fashion patrol. Leanne, you look absolutely lovely. Tell me about your outfit. I wanted something that was light, that was easy to wear. The best thing for a girl is when you can just put a dress on and it works. Just to be here, to be beautiful, and to just know that you're here for a good cause. Leanne, you've added the element of pink. Well, I had to add the pop of pink because that's what it's all about. It's the pink polo. We're here to really support cancer. And I think it's wonderful to see all of these beautiful people come together in this amazing setting for a really, really good cause. Karishma, it's so great seeing you and you look absolutely spectacular. Tell me about your outfit. This is something I had lying around in my cupboard from one of my trips to Europe and I thought it was perfect, pink and pretty. It is in aid of breast cancer awareness. What is your message? Cancer has not skipped a generation in my family on my mum's side, so cancer and cancer awareness is something that's very close to my heart. And just, yeah, lots of strength, uh, power and encouragement to the women that have been fighting. Looking as if they were about to do battle, teams of four players each arrived on the field. A polo match consists of six seven-minute time periods called chuckers. And while the riders remain in the saddle for the entire game, each pony plays a maximum of only two non-consecutive chuckers per match. Doesn't like to get too stuck in, but he drags the ball around. Big ride, now comes Georgie Morgan. He picks up the penalty. While the polo provides the action and excitement, it's the spectators that bring the glamour. I've spotted some familiar faces. Let's find out what inspired their look today. Today, obviously, pink polo, everyone is going to be wearing full pink. I thought I'd make the pink slightly more subtle. Always being a gent, it's quite easy. The girls have got it really hard. We just put on a suit and, and shirt and a really cool bow tie and add a bit of you know, fun to the look, and then we always look amazing. I was inspired by the classic man. I think that's my theme for the year. I'm trying to make this sort of Dan guy grow up a little bit. So, going classic with this nice little bow tie, a little bit of detail, slight pink shirt, I mean, complimenting it with the nice blue, and we're going to be an outdoor, so summery colors. Chelsea, you look so beautiful. Please tell me what inspired your look here today. Yes, thank you very much. The color inspiration for this year really inspired me. It's the Pantone colors of the year, so it's the sapphire blue and the rose court uh, pink. As a visitor to South Africa, what do you think of our fashion here? It's very unique, very different. I love all the, the colors and textures and fabrics. And what do you hope that people take away from today's event? We just really want people to, to be aware, uh, to get tested, to take care of themselves, and to celebrate life and celebrate victory. Michelle spotted another familiar face. I think this year has probably been the best year at the polo. Everyone looks amazing. I've seen so many outfits that I love and I love that everyone's dressed up. It's very important for women out there to actually get themselves checked out and maybe, you know, take action before anything gets out of hand. Polo is about you knew something special was going on here today. So congratulations to all the players. What a game you've put on. While the game had been hotly contested, no one was too concerned about the final score because the main aim had been to support the cause and spread the message. A message to all of your viewers would be be safe, remember the reason for the season and just have a wonderful time. Go celebrate with the people you love the most, be yourself and be the best version of that self. Embrace and love life, you know, and that's my message to people out there. While the sport of polo is older than recorded history, its origins are in the inspirational relationship between humans and horses. This bond between human and rider is made even more special when it's in aid of breast cancer awareness. This has truly been a lavish day at the polo.